This video will outline some of the new Looptastic tempo and sync features. So we'll start up Looptastic HD on the iPad, grab the Felt Waves loop set, pull up a few of the drum components, and now we're ready to play with the tempo. So we press the BPM button, we've got a slider to increase or decrease the tempo. We also have new tap tempo, so you can just tap the tempo in, and then you can nudge it from there if you wish. And then we also have the up-down arrow to just temporarily nudge, like if you're trying to get synced up with a uh, turntable or something. And then we can also just enter it in numerically from the keyboard. Here we'll look at tempo syncing multiple devices using Bluetooth and Looptastic. First thing to do is set up the Bluetooth connection. You can see Bluetooth right here in general setup. So we turn it on and you can see that under devices it says searching now discoverable. So our iPad can now be discovered via Bluetooth by another device also running Bluetooth and also running Looptastic. We'll use this iPod Touch and do the same thing here. We go to General, choose Bluetooth, turn it on, and now it too is ready to be discoverable. So we start up Looptastic on it as well. So now we can go load up one of our loop sets. Throw some beats in there as well, so that we can hear when everything syncs. And open up the slider control. There you can see I'm changing the BPM to be drastically different than what's going on on the iPad. You can use tap tempo in there as well. So now we have two devices set with two different tempos. Now in the upper right hand corner there's this connect button and so I'll press connect and when you press the connect button what happens is the iPad will go out via Bluetooth and look for another device running Looptastic to sync with. And you'll see that I press the same connect button on the little iPod touch and it's also connecting. So once the two devices find each other, I can hit the sync button on one of the devices. In this case, I'll hit it on the iPod Touch. And you'll notice it disables the tempo controls. That's because the tempo at this point is being controlled by the iPad. And you can, in fact, see that the uh, two devices are now playing in sync. Now you can see that as I change the tempo using the different controls on the iPad, it updates the tempo on the iPod. Now I'll swap things out. I will make the uh, iPad into the Sync Slave and the iPod into the Sync Master. Now you can see that I've made the iPod Touch the Sync Master and the iPad the Sync Slave. So as I update the tempo over here on the iPod Touch, it will update the tempo on the iPad. So being able to sync multiple copies of Looptastic across multiple devices gives you twice as much in the way of processing and remixing possibilities and without a lot of hassle trying to get the two BPMs in sync.